You took so long. You just cursed on my channel. doing buying some snacks so we're gonna go to hotel zone we rented a scooter for the day and I don't know where she is but she just texted me and she said the lineup is really really long inside and I was actually just inside and it took me 10 minutes 15 minutes to pay for all my things but while I wait for her I'm gonna have this banana and I'm gonna get another beautiful beautiful weather today can't wait you took so long You just cursed on my channel. Dude, you have to wipe that out. I don't actually curse. I know. What'd you get? I just got, got some, some bananas. Sandals. I needed some flip sandals. flops. Because I don't have any white sandals. Nice. Anyways, we rented a scooter for the day. And to rent a scooter here on an average is about 450 to 500 Mexican peso. And that's about, I believe, 30 Canadian dollars or 25 ish US dollars. We got this baby for the day. We're gonna be creating content and exploring Hotel Zone at the same time. I'm stoked. It's a beautiful day, as I said, mentioned. Dude, yeah, go for it. No, while I'm vlogging, just go for it. <laughs> you want some? No. <laughs> This is the first stop. This is the bunny uh, thing on Instagram. I don't know. I didn't even know it was here. This is my third time in the hotel zone and I didn't see this when I was here. But I'm gonna, I think I want a photo with a scooter with this. Nicola is gonna, I don't know what she's doing. I think she's keeping her gym outfit. Make sure you don't get hit by a car, by the way. Just standing there. Cameraman. Sorry. Can you hold it still? That's not how you vlog. You just let go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. Hello guys. Here we are at the first stop of the day and this is the Kentisha Bunny. You can find this located halfway down the hotel zone in Tulum. Now as you can see its colours are pinky purpley green with plants surrounding. It's very quite unique. What so did you just say? What colour? Pinky purpley with green surrounding. Okay. And that's what about else? all we have to say. We're going to take some photos now. She just took over my vlog. Kentisha Bunny! <laughs> Outfit of the day. What? No, you're good. Anyways, we're done here at the bunny spot, and uh, I don't know where we're going next. Nicola has just been my navigator. You no, know, I'm the driver. She's navigating. So I don't know where we're going next. You know, wherever the scooter takes us, I guess. But this place is apparently a beach club. But Nicola went in, and they're closed. And it looks like they've been closed for quite some time anyway, so we're gonna pack up our things, head on over to the next spot. I don't know where we're gonna go next, but it's gonna be a surprise, you know? Right now, everything at this restaurant is vegan. I got myself a nice chocolate right here. It's about 35 peso, which is three ish dollars Canadian or one or two dollars. No, two dollars. Two dollars US. I got myself this. Nicola got herself a nice juice again because she's been on a juice cleanse. This is day two of her juice cleanse. How healthy that thing is. We have just dropped off to have a little smoothie juice break as I am obsessed with these at the moment. I got 
got the green one. Uh, we just tried to get into Vagalume, however, they asked for a 50 US fee. We just wanted to go in and take some photos. It wasn't worth it for us. That's one thing I don't like about Tulum is that sort of thing. You just want to take a photo and you have to pay to enter everywhere. But instead we came to have a juice box, a juice drink, a juice box. <laughs> So Nicola has been obsessed with juicing the past two days, ever since I met her actually. We're going to try this one. What is this one? Um, it's called the alkalizer. Oh. It's really good for regulating she, floods. She has this thing of, before ordering a juice, she asks the server or whoever is working, which one is the healthiest juice, <laughs> like it's been her thing, but let's give it a try. That one hits. That's really good. Tasteless, <laughs> <laughs> so we're just right outside of Casa Malca, which is Pablo Escobar's mansion, one of his mansions. And we're gonna go in, and I think there's an entry fee, I'm not sure. So we're currently inside Pablo Escobar's mansion and look at this, this is the entrance. Okay, so they're playing the Narcos theme music right now. Don't Just to. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get copyright. Damn it. You know what? I'm gonna cut this vlog. We're heading back because to get in, it's about 100. Did she say 150? 135. $135 per person. And it's just really insane to take photos and videos, and it is beautiful, but we're just. We're just. I, I, we just think it's way too much to get in. And, uh,. So we're gonna head out now. Overall though, this spot was really nice, you know? That's one thing I don't like about Tulum is that sort of thing. You just want to take a photo and you have to pay to enter everywhere. <laughs> Yo, what would you say? He's dead. He doesn't know he's not getting the money. Where's the money going? <laughs> uh, that's fast though, that's fast. Alright, so I'm back at Rock to Loom. Third outfit of the day. The day. And we're just gonna take some photos and videos here and then we're gonna head on over to the beach. The cloud just rolled in really, really hard at the moment. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very cloudy at the moment. Hoping that it doesn't rain because I want to get some nice beach shots, sunset shots, fiery shots, you know, of the sky, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because the clouds just rolled in hard. But anyways, we're gonna do some photos here. Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente. Con una pasión, con una pasión tan We're gonna wrap it up here. We ended the day with some drone shots. I think they turned out very well. But anyways, I'm gonna link Nicola's YouTube and IG handle down below. Make sure you guys check it out. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, to be honest. She's thinking of heading down to Belize, but she's gonna be here in Tulum for what? The next 10 days? Seven days. Seven days, next week or so. I'm gonna be heading over back to Cancun tomorrow. And uh, I really don't know what my plan is. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Like I said, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.